Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 11 assignment of the course introduction to internet of things. So guys for the past five years, we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses. So for this season also we have continued to do that. So this is week 11 assignment guys. We tried our best to give you the most accurate solutions. So please watch the video till the end guys and don't skip the video. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and please share that with your friends. Let's see the first question. What are some of the other names of the smart grids? So other names of smart grids. So in the given options, only option A is the correct answer guys. Electricity with a brain. Electricity with a brain. So mark option A guys. Next moving on to the second question. Second one. Traditional grid flow follows which type of flow of energy? Traditional grid follows which type of flow of energy? So for second question, the answer is option A, unidirectional, unidirectional. So mark once again, option A guys. Next, third question. Third one. So guys, if you have any other solutions which differ with my solutions, you can please give your answers positively in the comment section. So we will try to sort out, but I think almost all solutions are 100% correct. So if I get any update, then I will keep you posted in the comment section guys. So once again, watch the comment section before final submission, but I think almost all solutions are correct. So third question. Which of the following is a benefit associated with smart grids? So for third question, efficient transmission of electricity, lower electricity rates, improved security. So all these three are correct only guys. All these three are correct benefits uh, according to this smart grids. So the final answer is option D, all of these. So mark option D guys. Next fourth question. Which of the following is a way of consumer engagement? So net metering, time of use pricing, financial incentives so all these three are correct so you have to mark option d all of these as the correct answer option d next fifth question guys fifth one so before getting into this fifth question i want to make a small announcement guys so for the course introduction to internet of things we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs guys. Exam preparation MCQs. These are the combination of previous years MCQs as well as our own handmade questions guys. As I told you previously with 5 years of NPTEL experience we have prepared this guys. So here you are getting a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person it is just 300 rupees guys. So last time we gave it for 500 so in order to reduce burden on students we reduce the price guys for one person so for one person now it is 300 rupees only guys 300 mcqs and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 guys if you take it as a group you can share the money 500 among your among your group so that you can reduce the price so for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 and if you are one person it is 300 rupees guys already many students have taken last time and they have given very good positive feedback claiming that they have scored 75 to 80 percent which almost similar questions came in exam so already for this season also many students have taken our pack and already started preparing guys so take it now itself so our course has come almost to the end so take it now itself so that you can save your time at the back end 
so you can easily revise that or you can prepare for other subject if you read it now so for one person it is 300 rupees guys and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys so if you want to purchase mail me to this email guys bk179417 at the red gmail.com so if you mail me to this email id before uh, mailing please uh, give the details like how many person access you want and which subject you want so that we can give you reply as fast as possible so this is the mail id guys i will give the same email id in the description box as well so this is the mail id guys so remember guys only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys because many students are mailing us and they are taking the packs so if you are confirmed for the payment we can give the priority order so that we can give you the mcqs pdf as early as possible without any delay so if you are confirmed to purchase then only mail me guys before mailing me please discuss with your friends to to combinedly buy this two to five persons 500 rupees pack and then mail me guys if you are one person you can if you fix that you want to take the pack then you can mail me guys and there is another one that is youtube membership with 100 plus mcqs and the price is just 89 rupees only guys it is available in video format so for one person it is 89 rupees and for one month guys if you want to purchase this youtube member sample pack for this sample pack no need to mail me you can directly go to our channel page so here you can see s kumar edu is our channel channel page our channel name and beside the subscribe this subscribe button there is a join button right so click on this join button a window will be open like this right so click on the second one 89 per month pack videos only for members so this is this is the one you can click on join button again once again and make payment directly to youtube that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos here you can see members only videos are uploaded already iot part 2 is made and also part 1 also uploaded guys you can watch these two videos and also remaining videos also you can watch guys with the same price no need to pay extra with that 89 rupees itself you can pay you can play all the videos guys but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcq spec because you are covering a lot of syllabus here almost every week syllabus is covered here guys but this youtube sample it is a sample package it's just a sample pack it covers just 100 plus mcqs the price is also less 89 rupees guys but only available in video format not pdf if you take this 300 mcqs pack you'll get it a pdf format you can easily read guys you can easily revise already many students have taken our pack guys so for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id so now let's get back to the solutions guys fifth question in dash a home can have power from distributed resources so for fifth question the answer is option b i landing option b i landing so mark option b next sixth question Sixth one, which of the following aggregates energy consumption of a certain geographical area? So for sixth question, the answer is option A guys, data aggregator units, DAU, data aggregator units. So mark option A. next seventh question guys seventh one which of the following statements are true about dynamic system attacks dynamic system attacks so for seventh question if you see the first statement it is wrong guys second and third statements are correct so the answer is option c statements two and three are true so mark option c guys next eighth one
fill in the blank dash is a centralized coordinator for for smart grid communication so for eighth question the answer is option d mdms md ms so mark option d guys next ninth one fill in the blank dash are available protocols for smart home appliances so for ninth question it is option d all of this so mark option d guys next 10th question fill in the blank once again dash is the time required to transmit the data so time required to transmit the data it is option d latency option d latency next 11th one IIoT is based on wrap and replace approach. Is this true or false? IIoT is based on wrap and replace approach. It is absolutely false, guys. Actually, it should be wrap and reuse. But they have given replace. So, it is not right. Incorrect one. So, it is a false statement, guys. Next, 12th question. Which of the following happened in the third revolution? Third revolution. So for 12th question it is option D, none of these. Option D, none of these. Next, 13th one. Which of the following is used to improve the interoperability of different systems? So for 13th question, it is option A, standardization. It is standardization. So mark option A. Next, 14th one. So before getting into this 14th question, I want to once again make you remember guys. So for the course Introduction to Internet of Things, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs. With 5 years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared these guys. You are getting a huge number of 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for 1 person, it is 300 rupees guys. For 2 to 5 persons, combinedly it is 500 guys. For 2 to 5 persons, combinedly 500. If your classmates are doing the same course or if your friends are doing the same course along with you, then you can combinedly form a group and you can take the pack, guys. So for, for 2 to 5 members group, it is 500 rupees, guys. And there is YouTube membership sample pack. You don't need to mail me. You can directly ask, uh, go to our channel page and you can make purchase directly with YouTube. Only if you want this 300 MCQs PDF, Google Drive PDF restricted link, then only mail me guys. This is the mail ID bk179417 at the red gmail.com. So this is the mail ID. You can mail me to this email ID. If you are confirmly want to purchase this pack, you can mail me to this email ID guys. Already many students have taken our pack and started preparing and many students have given very positive feedback for the last season. So they have came across many questions that we have given here. So that's it guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. So 14th question. Big data is characterized by 7 V's. So what are those? So you may have come across those 7 V's right? 
so here they are asking there are total seven ways is that correct or not as per this question we don't go in depth so they are asking just how many ways they have given seven is that true or false it is true guys so mark option a next moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one what is hadoop used in so it is used in option a guys distributed processing of large data sets distributed processing of large data sets so friends mark option a as correct answer for last and 15th question so friends these are the solutions for week 11 assignment of introduction to internet of things course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share that with your friends and classmates guys and don't forget to purchase this 300 mcqs pdf gap pack it will be very much helpful for you for the preparation for the final exam guys so this is the mail id you have to mail me if you confirm to purchase the pack then only mail me guys because many students are in the order of purchasing the pack so we have to prioritize the one who take the pack so please do that accordingly so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you